Hey everybody, it's me Brie. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. And, uh, and of course, I just forgot what I was going to talk about. But, uh, we just, we had Farkle Night tonight. And, um, a whole bunch of our family, friends, and everything um, come to our house, and we set up like four or five tables, and it is one of the funnest games ever because we're wild and crazy, which is a lot of fun. But uh, happy St. Patrick's Day! Um, I told me for the fun. Give me a moment while I think about what I was going to talk about. Okay, well, it wasn't what I was going to talk about, but um, at work today, oh gosh. So, for those of you who don't know, I hate my high school, my former high school, with a passion. I was very judged at that school, and as far as I'm concerned, that school and a lot of the people in it can blow up. That building can just blow up. It's illegal, so I can't make that happen, unfortunately, so wishful thinking. I'd love it if at least their reputation would go down the drain. Anyway. So, one of the teachers, one of the teachers that I actually liked was there today, and I didn't realize it was her until after I started talking to her. She was talking to one of the other employees, um, saying that she couldn't find the price um, on a blouse. And that is a very common mistake at Goodwill. The tags on most of the collared shirts are underneath the collar, so you have to lift the collar up to find the tag. I know that's stupid, but I'm not the one who does the tagging, so. Um, and so I heard, I overheard her saying this, and the employee she was talking to um, just told her to go and ask a, ca a cashier up at the front, and I already knew the little trick to it, so I just jumped in and said, is it underneath the collar? And I went over to her and lifted up the collar <clears throat> and showed her the tag, and then when I looked up, I realized it was one of my teachers from high school. And the whole reason I'm saying this is, <clears throat> she recognized me. I know that probably should not be a really big shock, but it was, I'm not going to say it was hurtful. Okay, that yeah, was hurtful. I was disappointed. I was humiliated for one thing. Because I try to, whenever someone from my former high school comes into Goodwill, I try to avoid them at all costs. And I'll get into the reason why I hate that high school in a moment. But um, I try to avoid them at all costs. And yet, I just walked up and started talking to her, and she recognized me. Obviously, um, 
she recognized me when I went to that school. Obviously, I, that was before my transition. So she knew me as a boy. And so, and of course, I'm, I dress full time now, and I'm a girl. I dress like a girl. I sound like a girl. Hopefully, I kind of look like a girl. And, oh gosh, it was, I just wanted to go climb into a corner and scream. <laughs> but luckily, it was her. I mean, she was one of the teachers. She was the only teacher that I actually, actually liked there. Um, she's, she's very nice, but... Uh, I don't even know what I would have done if it were one of the other teachers. I probably would have ended up being a little snotty. But anyway, the reason I hate that high school and 90% of the people in it are because, okay, they're a Protestant school. For those of you who don't know what Protestants are, they're Christians, but they're not Catholic. Catholics are the original Christians, so are the Orthodox. I don't want to get into a debate on this, so don't message me about religion. I don't want to talk about religion. I'm just saying Catholics and Orthodox Christians are the original Christians. And then there's the Protestants, which is any type of Christian that is not Catholic or Orthodox. Sorry, bug on my computer. But, um, yeah. So, I was Catholic. And, and I'll get, oh, that's another thing I can talk about. But, um, I was Catholic. And I was a very, very strict practicing Catholic. Um, and they are very, very strong Protestant anti Catholic. And so, we did not get along on those terms. But also, as I said, that was before my transition. So I was a boy, quotation marks. Um, but it would have been apparent that were I a actual, an actual boy, were I naturally by gender a boy, I would have been a gay boy. Obviously, but there would have been no hiding it. I was not flamboyantly flaming gay, but um, it was not hard to tell. And um, they judged me for that. And so I was being judged right and left. If it wasn't for being Catholic, it was for supposedly being gay. And now I'm transgendered, so how do you think they would react to that? And there was a lot of conflict between me and that school. You know, I'm even going to say it online. It's, it was BCS, Billings Christian High School. Now they changed the name, so now it's RCHS, Rimrock Christian High School. Yeah. If any of you are in Billings, Montana, stay away from that school. They are two-faced, they are hypocritical, and they deserve to lose their careers. They don't deserve anything. Anyway, and they are very judgmental. They're just, they're bad people. Um... <sighs> Where was I going? Anyway, so yeah, I was being judged left and right there. And you asked me, well, why didn't I just go to a Catholic school? First of all, the only Catholic school here, Catholic high school here, is very expensive. We cannot afford to send me there. Um, and 
I have never been in public school past elementary school. So at the time, public school was not really an option for me. Although looking back, I think I probably would have been better off in public school, at least socially. However, I have to say a couple of my good friends did come from that school. Of course, they were the rejects, too. Um, they were the cast-outs as well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway. And um, my laptop is about to kind of start dying, so hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. But anyway, so it is just, it was just a very bad school. And so whenever students or former students or teachers come into goodwill, um, I try to avoid them at all costs. However, however, While I do try to avoid them, if I end up checking them, if I end up checking them through my line, I'm kind of sickly, twistedly happy about it. I kind of just pretend I don't know who they are and just kind of shuff them off, so to speak, if you know what I mean trying to say, like, if they come through my line, um, I'll just kind of pretend like I don't know them, and I'm kind of glad that if they do kind of recognize me, it's kind of like a slap in their face. I don't know, it's kind of like throwing my transition in their face. Um, like, even if they're judging me um, silently in their heads. I'm acting like I don't care about you, your opinion doesn't matter, you're nothing to me, I don't really care, I'm just, you're just some customer. So I don't know, it's kind of like a slap in their face. Anyway, so I have a lot of resentment towards those people. Um, not just because of the way they judge me, but because of the way they lied and like uh, they would lie and pretend that they were supportive of you like as a person um they would pretend and everything came with strings attached if you know what I mean I don't know I'm getting a little ahead of myself but if you know what I mean um I don't know and as far as my having been Catholic, I really don't know what I am anymore. Like, I kind of still follow the old traditional Latin Catholic belief system and the Orthodox belief system. But I've kind of come to the conclusion that... Sorry. I've come to the conclusion that... I love God. I love Christ. Um, I have a very, very deep relationship with um, the Trinity and all that. But I'm simply not a fan of his people. Who was it? Was it Gandhi who said, I like your Christ, but I don't like your Christians? 
that's kind of what I'm like now, which is kind of almost contradictory because I was a very strong Catholic. And I went to seminary when I was still a boy. I went to a traditional Latin um, pre-Second Vatican Catholic seminary to become a priest. I know. I did that. And I was there for about five months. And, um, I know. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what a seminary is, it's a place where, um, young Catholic men go to become priests. They're called seminarians. Um, they're there for the formation in the church. And I was there. And it was very strict. I mean, very strict. Um, and very, very structured, which I like. However, they were very hypocritical. They did not resemble Christ in his love. Um, they, it was just not a good place to be. However, I would not be saying that right now if I had not been thrown out. And the reason I was thrown out, I believe God made them throw me out so I could find out who I really am. Obviously, I'm not a boy, so it kind of would have been wrong for me to be there in the first place. But, um, <laughs> although I must say, I probably would have made a better priest than they would have, than they are. Anyway, um, I had my old phone. Actually, I think it's the phone that I have now still. Anyway. I was a, when I was a boy, I had, you know, the whole shirtless pictures on my phone, and, because I was kind of emo, and, um, they told me to get rid of those, and, you know, I had to go to confession, kind of, for being gay and all that, um, but, I had totally forgotten, I had completely forgotten um, about my videos, the videos on my phone. And I had videos of years ago, like at least four or five years ago, um, of me in my kitchen with my friend Maddie. And she had put me in a skirt and high heels. This was before my transition, so I was just kind of, quote-unquote, cross-dressing. Um, I was in a little mini skirt. I was in a mini skirt, and I was in heels. And I was in a tight shirt, and I was walking around the kitchen, and I was videoing this, and then she was videoing me, and we were laughing and having fun. And they found that video. And there were other things going on too, but um, I won't get into that now. It's complicated. But um, they found that video. And I had, told, I had completely forgotten those videos were on there. And, you know, I had a lot of pictures on my phone. So it was taking me a while to delete all my pictures. Because if I deleted them all at once, my phone would just freeze there were way too many pictures. So it was taking me a while to delete everything, but if I had remembered those videos were on there, I would have deleted those right away. There were only like one or two videos, but I would have deleted them instantaneously. And I think God made me forget about them. Because Here's what I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be a young girl finding her way through life, finding out 
what else she is supposed to be doing with her life. I am not meant for a seminary, obviously. I'm a girl. Girls don't go to seminary. And they found those. And mind you, they didn't give me any warning when they kicked me out. Um, I was in the chapel, I was praying, I was getting ready for Mass, I was getting ready to do some altar serving. And um, one of the priests came and said they needed to talk to me, and we all had chores in the morning. And I thought, okay, he's going to talk to me, I forgot to lower the blinds this morning, or I forgot to fill the cat's food. But no, he took me into one of the rooms, and there was a couple of, of the other priests in there, and um, and they started talking to me about all this. And I made such a fool of myself. I was so embarrassed. I started crying and hyperventilating. And these these traditional priests were, you know, men don't cry, or men... I was <laughs> I was totally opposite of what they believe in as a man because I was hyperventilating, I was crying. I was caught off guard and they had already gotten me a plane ticket and they said I had to leave that instant that I had to leave now. And the the head priest there at the seminary, the father superior I had, and I still have, a great deal of respect for him. Because he didn't do anything wrong. He is a great holy man. But it was, it was these other priests that got rid of me, that were horrible and hypocritical. And um, they wouldn't even let me say goodbye to him. So they had me pack my things, and you know, I'm an emotional wreck, and... I was on the phone with my mommy, and as I was packing my things, and, um, and I came home. So, that's my little story about that. I was in a traditional Catholic seminary. <laughs> Isn't that just so ironic? Or, I don't know, I think it's kind of funny, actually. But anyway, so yeah, when I'm not going to go back to church until um, after my transition, I tried going to a couple Protestant churches, but I just can't do it. Even though I'm, I'm kind of against church organization. At least I'm right now, because I still hold resentment against so-called Christians. It just seems everywhere you turn, there's nothing but hypocrisy and judgment. So, which is not what Christ is. So, um, even and even though I feel that way, I cannot go to a Protestant church. I just don't like Protestants. I would go back to a Catholic church before I went to a Protestant church. I'm sorry, that's just how I am. But, um, unless it's a black church, I really want to go to a black church. Those places are so cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, I guess everything I just talked about really wasn't what I was going to talk about. But, I did. <laughs> um, I just kind of started talking. So, I don't know if I was really going anywhere with that. But, you know, it's something you didn't know about me, and it's kind of part of my past. So, kind of a big part of my past. And you know what? I really, this is part of how my childhood was wasted. Ever since I was very little, pretty much just out of elementary school, I wanted to be a monk or a priest. I actually, 
I actually wanted to be a nun, but I thought I was a little boy, so I thought I couldn't be a nun, so I wanted to be a monk or a priest instead. But I spent my whole life up until seminary preparing for seminary. I wasted almost all of my life up until a few years ago preparing for a religious life. Like, all I would do for, since I was about 12 or 13, all I thought about was um, entering the religious life. All I would do was study the religious life. All I would read about was the religious life. All I would watch was things about being a priest or a monk. That's all I did for years, up until I was about 18. I wasted more than half of my life so far doing that. And, you know, I didn't have much of a childhood other than that anyway, because I've always kind of been the social outcast. I was always kind of a loner, um, because, you know, I was always different. Um, I was the one into fantasy and mythological things. I was the one who was kind of feminine. I was gay. And just all these things that would prevent me from socializing with the normal people. So it's not like I really had much of a childhood other than that. But, you know, it, it just kind of makes me think. I, well, you know what? I cannot say that it wasted. I cannot say that's a waste of my life. Because as much as a waste, it kind of was. But at the same time, it built a lot of the character of who I am now. Like, a lot of who I am now is because of everything that happened. So, I'm, I can't say it was a waste of my life. But I still, you know, I kind of think, well, where would I be now if I didn't do that? Or if I didn't spend all those years focusing on the religious life? You know, where would I be now? Who knows, maybe I would have started my transition earlier. Which would have been nice. I mean, I'm still really young, but, um, you know, I think as far as starting your transition, if you're truly transgendered, the, early you, the earlier you start, the better. So, I don't know. So now I'm just kind of, now I kind of have to start over. I spent my whole life um, building up to a religious life that only lasted five months. What am I going to do now? I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's kind of fun, you know. It's just, you know, I kind of have to start from square one. I've already got down that I'm transgendered and I need to make this transition. But um, I need to go beyond that now. I need to just, I need to, um, you know, discover, well, what do I want to do now? Because I can't exactly do that again. So, yeah, that's just kind of a little bit about me and my deeper, darker past, <laughs> some of it. Um, so, yeah. I've, wow, I've already gone up almost half an hour. This is a very, very long video. I really hope I don't bore you. So, I'm going to stop talking now and maybe make another video later. So, bye.